gene duplication and its effects on evolution. So gene duplication, what happens? In simple terms, a region of DNA that contains a gene is duplicated by accident through errors in DNA replication or repair, resulting in a spare copy of the gene. This causes the effect of genetic redundancy, where one gene can mutate to serve a new function in a different part of the organism, and the other can stay the same and retain its original function. So what does that have to do with evolution? While selection takes away variation in a population, mutation adds back. Genetic redundancy has the capability to foster evolutionary innovation. Effects of selection are relaxed on duplicate genes, which gives these duplicates an opportunity to explore new evolutionary terrain. Oftentimes, mutations from duplication are deleterious and are likely to become lost over time. In this case, a non-beneficial mutation the duplicate copy is rendered non-functional, yet the original copy is maintained, so the host organism is not affected. Otherwise, two evolutionary events can occur. There is the case of neo-functionalization, a situation where both the novel genes are retained and maintain separate functionality. One copy of the gene maintains its original function, while the mutated gene that survived through selection is expressed as a different function for the host organism. In the case of subfunctionalization, both copies of the genes may go through mutations that require that the novel genes complement each other. These mutations can be silent where the original function of the gene is maintained by the two novel genes serving the function of the original gene, or adaptive, where the two novel genes perform two novel functions when they coexist. Here are some real-life examples. In plants, or any living creature for the matter of similar origin. Many phenotypic and genotypic properties are largely conserved through evolutionary timescales over the diversification of many species. Many have roots, many have stems, many have leaves, and many of them reproduce through pollination. This seems to be good indication that major clades of plants have not evolved by inventing new genes as time went on, but rather had a common ancestor that started with the basic genetic toolkit pre-existing genes that through gene duplication and mutation resulted in the many species of plants that exist today. In the case of the tomato plant, gene duplication resulted in the evolution of a favorable elongated phenotype. By mechanism of retrotransposition gene duplication, the IQD12 gene was transcripted in reverse and reintegrated into the genome, which resulted in the new gene SUN. This novel SUN gene was in turn, by chance, placed in a different regulatory environment that involved the early stage of development in the tomato plant, causing the elongated phenotype sometimes favored by the population today.